Here's what we have done so far. Let's talk about Lopatols. Lopatols had to do with what? When would you use Lopatols rule? To find a what? Very good. Limit. And limits are? Y values. Okay. So when we're looking at a limit, we're just trying to find a Y value. So let's say I took the limit as X approaches 0 of sine X over X. Now the first thing you would do on an IB test is you would substitute the value in sine of 0 is 0 over 0 and then you would write what? Indeterminate form. Good. That is worth a mark. Mark 1. Okay. Mark 2 would be set these up as a function over a function. f of x over g of x. Limit as x approaches 0. Uh, the derivative of sine, which is cosine, over the derivative of x, which is 1. Now when you put a 0, you get the cosine of 0 over 1, which is 1. And we knew that one, right? Sine x over x, x approaches 0 is 1. But this uh, L'Hopital's rule is great. Now, these indeterminate forms, there were seven of them. And can you, how many can you name? Uh, one is zero over zero. What's another one? Yeah, those are the most common. Those are the most likely ones you'll see on the IB test. Okay, but there are a few others, like infinity minus infinity. Uh, zero, I always forget, is it infinity to the zero or zero to the infinity? You might have to check that one. I know 1 to the infinity is 1, okay? Do you know any other ones? Anybody know any other ones? There's seven of them. You can look them up on your phone, too. I want to say uh, either 0 to infinity or infinity to the 0, but there's a, a couple more. Anybody find them? All right, so then we did... A little more complicated ones. This is one of what's that? Yeah. So zero over zero, infinity over infinity, infinity minus infinity, one to the infinity. What's the other three? Um, zero to the zero. Oh yeah. Infinity to the zero. Infinity is zero to the infinity one. Yeah. Okay. So infinity zero to the infinity, infinity to the zero. Oh, I should remember that. Or just the yeah. reverse. Perfect. And those are the seven. That means that if you get that. The answer could be 6, or 18, or pi, or whatever. All right, here's one I'd like you to try. x approaches infinity of 1 uh, plus 5 over x to the x. I'll let you figure that one out on your own. This is the classic one where if you just plug in values, you're going to get 1 plus 0 to the infinity, which is 1 to the infinity, which is an indeterminate form. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get this in a form where you have f of x over g of x, and then you can take the derivative of the top, derivative of the bottom, not using quotient rule. Uh, this is one where you're going to take the natural log of both sides. Remember that? I'll let you, I'll let you deal with that. Okay. This is a nice example to try. Another thing we talked about was another thing that we talked about was the improper integral. An improper integral is a technique of integration where you can go from 1 to infinity of 1 over x squared dx. And you can actually find what that is. Now, uh, what would be your first step in taking that in antiderivative? What would you do first? What's the first thing you'd do? Because I don't like this the way it's written. Rewrite it how? Yes. Now it's integratable. I didn't say that. That's not a word. But uh, able to integrate. And now what's the antiderivative of x to the negative 2? x to the negative 1 over negative 1 going from 1 to infinity. Now this might worry you because this simplifies to negative 1 over x going from 1 to infinity and that seems bad, doesn't it? A negative first, 
but it's actually a good thing because when I put infinity, you're going to get negative 1 over infinity minus a negative 1 over 1. And what's negative 1 over infinity? 0. And so this is going to go to 0, leaving me 0 plus 1 is 1. Would you have ever guessed in your whole life that that integral is an area of 1? Going to infinity? That's amazing. That's incredible. Uh, if you're like I am, you're thinking about the test coming up in, in May, you want to get all the marks you can, this would give you all but one mark. Uh, one mark that you could get is this part here, sidestep this, don't write negative 1 over infinity, even though that's what you're evaluating. You would write it this way, the limit as n approaches infinity of negative 1 over n, and then you'd go minus a negative 1 over 1. And when you write it this way, they'll give you, this, this isn't a notation that's uh, accepted, this is. It means the same thing. Because this is going to be negative 1 over infinity plus 1, which is 1. But they want you to put that step in. I just want to indicate that. And I'll do one more integral that students have trouble with. And that is the integral of, and you've seen this one, 2 over x natural log of x squared dx. And let's integrate that from uh, 2 to infinity. Okay. And uh, let's just talk about this quick, because students have a lot of trouble. Uh, what's your first move here? What's the first thing you're going to do? Take out the 2. So you're going to put that out in front. So this is going to be the integral of 2 to infinity of 2 over 2 times dx over x ln of x. So this cancels out. Was I being nice by putting that 2 up here? I was being nice. Okay. So now I have the integral going from 2 to infinity of dx over x ln x. Now this x bothers me. Does it bother you? Well, that was a uh, inside joke when I said it bothers you because what method are we going to use? u sub I'm going to let u equal to what? ln of x. Since u is the ln of x, then du is dx over x. Do you have that over x to drop out? Yes, you do. So this turns into the integral from 2 to infinity of du over u. And what is that? Natural log of u, which is the natural log of x going from 2 to infinity. And what's going to happen when I put infinity in for x? What's going to happen? I take the limit as n goes to infinity of the natural log of the natural log of n minus natural log of the natural log of 2. Well, I don't know what this is, but I do know what this is going to do. What's that going to do? Infinity. And so we know that infinity minus whatever is going to be infinity. So there's no limit to that. You okay with that? Does that help? See a little bit of review. So that's reviewing L'Hopital's rule and uh, improper integrals.